Hello everybody, welcome to our live stream. Uh, I am Doris and I work as a marketing senior specialist at Tallinn University. Today I'm going to tell you about Tallinn University overall and then we're going to focus on communication management master's program and international relations master's program. First of all, where is Tallinn University located? Uh, we are located in Estonia. Estonia is a really small country in Europe. Our neighboring countries are Latvia, Russia and across the bay, Finland. As I said, we are a really small country, so our area is only a bit more than 45,000 square kilometers. The capital of Estonia is Tallinn, so Tallinn University is located in the capital. The population is 1.3 million people and the currency we use here is Euro. We are the member of EU, Schengen area and NATO. The language we speak here is Estonian, but no worries, English is also widely spoken here, as well as Russian. What we're really proud of is that we are an e-society. Basically everything can be done online here. We have Wi-Fi access almost everywhere, and of course what we're really proud of is that Skype software was developed by Estonian engineers. Few facts about Tallinn University. Uh, Tallinn University was established in 2005. Actually, the history of the university dates back, but in 2005, different units that were in Tallinn were merged into one and named as Tallinn University. We have about 7,600 7, students studying on bachelor's, master's and doctoral level. Among around 900 are uh, for international students. This 900 makes up of the degree students who study here and exchange students as well. We have about 850 full-time employees here and a bit more than 350 partner universities, which means uh, when you come and study here at Tallinn University and would like to study a semester or a year abroad, you have a variety of universities to choose from. And at the moment we have eight academic units. Six of them are located here in Tallinn and two of them regional colleges outside of Tallinn. Our university has a leading role in promoting and developing intelligent lifestyle. And as a result, our university has directed our resources into five focus fields, which are educational innovation, cultural competences, society and open governance, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Tallinn University is the third biggest public university in Estonia. Our main strengths lie in humanities and social sciences. What's interesting about Tallinn University is that we have here, for example, the longest traditions of teacher training in Estonia, yet one of the most modern film and media schools in the Baltics, side by side. And at the moment, actually, we are located in the film and media school in the television studio. We believe in individual approach to students and in innovation and interdisciplinarity. Today, our facilities include everything a student needs. Modern classrooms, computer classes, leisure areas. We even have our own gym here and the cinema hall where the students can go and watch films for free. Few words about one of our schools, Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School that offers the Communication Management Master's program. Uh, BFM uh, has about 1,100 students studying here each, sem each semester and around 120 of them are from different uh, countries worldwide. BFM has uh, more than uh, 70 partner universities in all over Europe as well in Asia. BFM believes in learning by doing, which means when you come and study here, you will, ha will have a really practical approach to the studies. And BFM is equipped with uh, video and sound equipment, TV studio, where we are we located, as I said, sound studios, film studio uh, and cinema hall, as I said before as well. And all our, all our BFM students can uh, use the free shooting and post-production equipment. The studio spaces, production uh, support is given to them and so on. Uh, another school uh, which we're going to focus on today is the School of Governance, Law and Society that offers international relations master's program. 
The School of Governance, Law and Society is a competent center for so social research and practices. It's possible to study social sciences uh, there in, on bachelor's, master's and doctoral level. And most of the alumni are public servants, but there are really successful people also in business, politics, media and so on. Now I will give the floor to uh, our communication management student, Louise, who will tell you more about that program. Hello all, I'm going to talk to you about the communication management uh, program in Tallinn University, which is a, pro a master program that offers diverse uh, subjects focusing on uh, parts of communication management, systematic knowledge of modern communication theories, methods and applications. The international staff members share their experience and bring students closer to the real experience of jobs. So about the program, it involves more than mere communication with people. It analyzes in depth the fundamental role of communication and helps to explain the processes of communication. The subjects offer different perspectives, modes and means of communication. Its special focus is on intercultural communication, not only dealing with people with different uh, diverse cultural backgrounds, but also with people of different ages, genders, social classes, and so on. The specialization models include globalization, identity, society, and culture. The specialization model in intercultural communication offers a variety of uh, different models, which would be models of cultural differences, globalization, identity, and communication, language and intercultural communication, and basics of intercultural communication, internationalization, multiculturalism, and the challenges for business management, identity and society, super diversity, and intercultural communication. To prepare students for, competence, uh, pro for competent professional interaction at the international level by teaching the necessary knowledge and language skills. We offer opportunities at the highest level of academic studies, understanding the, necessary, the necessity of lifelong learning and developing the skills to cope, with successful, to cope successfully with particular tasks. We expect our students to be creative thinkers, able to produce innovative solutions, interested in communication, marketing, sociology, intercultural communication and general humanities. You are expected to be able to live abroad and uh, work in community development projects. The leveling model is for those who do not receive BAs in, in the communication field. It is compulsory to pass the leveling model and you'll have some leveling courses such as organizational communication and public relation theories. English B2 level is required to begin studying your studies in English. Students should be able to acquire C1 by the time they finish the English program. Acquired skills would be competency in corporate communication and professional interaction at an international level. The ability to be innovative and to handle specific professional tasks in the wider context of culture and society. To deal with complicated situations in accordance with the norms and values of society to conduct a research in the field of communication and to apply research results to the real life challenge. As to our, your career, positions that uh, demand uh, high communicative uh, management competence in multicultural and quickly developing environments. Skilled specialists in communication management in ministries and other governmental organizations at both the national and EU levels. At all levels of educational organizations, in research and science institutions, in, particularly in particular international networks and interdisciplinary expert groups and in corporate corporation projects. Tallinn University Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School is part of the European Masters in Intercultural Communication, teaching and research networks of nine European universities.
the core of EMICC is the yearly Eurocampus, a four-month intensive program taught by professors from the network universities in which up to five students from each partner university can take part. During this intensive program, students learn about intercultural communication theories, consider intercultural communication from the perspective of different academic disciplines, and have a chance to acquire advanced intercultural competences and skills useful in both professional and social life. Eurocampus has been held in several different cities, uh, from Uvascula in Finland to Brussels, Lugano, Utrecht, Paris, Cambridge, but in 2016 it took part in Tallinn University. In 2017, the, the next year, Eurocampus will take place in University del Studio di Urbino, Carlo Bo, in Urbino, Italy. The communication management problem, uh, program has a nominal duration of study of two years. It costs uh, 1,800 euros per semester and it's a cyclical learning. For more information, you can contact Professor Anastasia Zobrotskaya at uh, Tallinn University. Now to talk a little bit about uh, International Relations Program, I will introduce you Anna. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm a second year International Relations uh, MA program student and I'm glad to have an opportunity to introduce inter International Relations Program today. So what is International Relations? Uh, IR program is an uh, interdisciplinary study which is a part of social sciences and it covers the topics uh, such as uh, strategic and complex uh, uh, state relations to the transnational forms and the channels of non-state actors. Our program focuses on uh, foreign and security policy as well as the regional uh, cooperation in world politics uh, which really gives you an in-depth knowledge of understanding of state relations international organizations and the role of non-state actors, which are really uh, key things to know in the international relations. Uh, one of the flexibility of the program is that it gives you opportunity to choose one of the two models. The first is called the changing world order uh, and the second is international security and conflict studies. Uh, the nominal study period uh, is two years within which student is supposed to col uh, collect 120 credits. Uh, one of the things that I really need to mention about this is that it, uh, these credits also contain of uh, the free credits which gives you opportunity to uh, improve foreign languages or learn the new one. For example, I had an opportunity to learn uh, Russian literally from nothing to the B2 level which gives you a great knowledge uh, and uh, advantage as a future diplomat and not only. Uh, the study load, um, as I have mentioned, um, also um, um, contains of the thesis writing some, and the thing that I really, uh, another thing that is a great advantage as an IR student is that it, uh, you start writing thesis um, in the first semester. So you don't need to stress uh, the last uh, uh, semester to work on it. Uh, you have master seminar one and master seminar two, uh, which gives uh, and uh, during these um, uh, courses, um, faculty gives you directions how to write it to achieve the best uh, uh, goals. Um, as for the price of the program, it's 1,350 uh, euros per semester, which is a pretty reasonable price for the package that um, uh, the program offers. So then you, uh, you will have a question now why to choose international relations and then why to choose it in Tallinn University. So one of the big advantage of the program is that um, it has uh, internationally experienced faculty from Canada, Finland, United States and Estonia and uh, they have a teaching experience in the United States, UK, France, Italy, Austria, Finland, China, India and uh, furthermore 
project management and the research experience in East and Central um, uh, European, Nordic and Baltic, Central Asian and North American countries. Um, uh, when, one of the very amazing things about our program is that we also have a student organization. It's called International Relations Society. Uh, I was a privileged um, this um, academic year to serve as a vice president of the um, society. And this gave me the opportunity to um, uh, meet a lot of amazing scholars and a lot of amazing guest speakers. So what uh, this pro organization does is that it organize the activities, movie screenings, uh, so field trips, and um, uh, as a vice president, I had an opportunity to uh, improve my, not only the thematic knowledge on international relations, but also the knowledge uh, such as project, the skills such as project management and the organizational skills. And uh, for example, yesterday we had a guest from uh, Brazilian embassy, a diplomat, and uh, we also had some other events with the Canadian embassy. We had events with the Turkish embassy. We, we visited uh, NATO uh, cooperative cyber center of excellence and this also uh, offers extra opportunities. Uh, another advantage of the program is that we have students all over the world. Um, we have students from Europe, United States, Canada, Argentina, Japan, Nigeria uh, and uh, this gives you a a really valuable skill of working in the multicultural environment, um, which uh, every employer um, really uh, searches um, in the future employees. Um, and uh, also another besides that, one of the great things about having this multicultural uh, environment is that you uh, have an opportunity to find out the cultures of the different people uh, coming from different countries and you also uh, can find out uh, every everything these, all the news of, about the countries also through face-to-face -face communication. So about the practical experience, the program includes the visits um, uh, to government institutions and the roundtable seminars uh, where you have an opportunity to meet the guest speakers, guest lecturers, visiting scholars and policymakers and, get, uh, and update your knowledge about the contemporary threats in the international relations. Um, and also the, what our students love is that uh, st students um, attend the study trips to the European Parliament and the NATO headquarters in Brussels, which is a really uh, amazing opportunity as an uh, higher uh, master program student. Uh, so what's hap what happens after graduation? So after, uh, the, what this program gives you is the familiarity and the great knowledge about the higher theories uh, and uh, it also gives you the ability how to apply this knowledge to the practical field, to the news and the range of uh, analytical tasks. And where, um, so you might have a question, uh, where can I work after I graduate from uh, higher program? So the possible career options for graduates include the positions in uh, government structures, public service, diplomacy, European affairs, international and non-governmental organizations across the world. So pretty much you can work th with this uh, uh, degree everywhere. And, um, as, and, and my final uh, advice would be to um, choose um, international relations in the Italian University because it didn't only meet my uh, expectations, but it exceeded my expectations. And it's a key to successful career. Now I will give a floor to and back to Doris. So now about the admission requirements as well. First of all, you have to keep in mind the deadlines. Unfortunately for non-EU students, the deadline has already passed, but still for applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, the deadline is 1st of June, so you can still apply. And for the EU EEA citizens, the deadline is 1st of July. So the first step, what you need to do is to apply online at estonia.dreamapply.com and submit required documents there. After that, you need to submit the first part of the admission exam. You can find that the requirements uh, or the admission exams what are they uh, from the de under description of uh, each program? If you go to our web page, you can see them from there. Then you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Some of the countries may have also country specific requirements. 
So please go and check them from tlu.ee slash country specific. In case you are not able to submit your educational documents by the requested deadline, please contact our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee and let them know. I am sure that something can be figured out. After that, you need to prove your English proficiency. You need to have English proficiency at least on B2 level. You can do it with uh, well-known tests as YELTS or TOEFL or PTA, for example. But there are exceptions as well. For EU EA citizens, the exceptions are made for those applicants who have uh, previously completed their studies fully in English and a tested proof from educational institution is required. For non-EU EA citizens, uh, again, there are exceptions for those applicants who have completed previous studies fully in English in United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand or in EU EA countries. Once again, proof is needed from the educational institution. Then you need to wait for the initial feedback from our admission specialists. If everything is okay, you will be uh, contacted regarding the date and time of an interview. The interview will be done via Skype, so no need to come to Estonia for the interview. If everything is okay and you pass the program specific admission exam, you will be asked to send your application cover by post to us and your educational documents, copy of a bachelor's degree certificate and transcript of records. In case the documents are not in English, translation is requested as well. And please keep in mind that both of the copies and translations need to be attested by a notary. If everything is okay, then uh, you will be informed by the positive decision via online application system. So keep your eye on a dream apply. About moving to Estonia. For non-EU EEA citizens, you need to have the temporary residence permit to study. About the process, you will be advised by our admission specialists. For EU EEA citizens, you need to obtain the right of temporary residence and you must register yourself as a citizen of Tallinn within three months. If you would like to know more about those processes, please go to polizei.ee slash en. The study start uh, in the first week of September, but really important for you is the last week of August, when is the orientation week. During the orientation week, we will give you all the necessary information regarding the studies here. Few words about the student life as well. We have our own student union here, uh, under which there are different clubs, like International Club for International, that organizes events for international students, ESN for exchange students, Culture Club, Sports Clubs, Photo Club, Culture Collectives like Symphony Orchestra, Choirs, our old Students Café OAS, and we even have a childcare here. Tallinn University has its own dormitory. It's just around the corner of our main campus and the photos you uh, see here on the slides are from Tallinn University dormitory. There are double rooms for the price of 150 euros per month. There are other dormitories as well. G4S dormitory, there are double and single rooms for the price of 205.60 euros and 411.20 euros. There's the Eco dormitory, there are double and single rooms for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, you always have the possibility to rent an apartment by yourself, with your friends, with your course mates, and like in every city, the prices vary. If you would like to go and see more photos of the dormitories or more information about the accommodation, please go to tlu.ee slash housing. The students say that they can handle here with about 300 up to 500 euros per month. That does not include the accommodation. Here are just a few examples. The student meals cost 3 up to 7 euros. The public transport is free of charge for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets 12 to 18, concert tickets 8 to 30 and so on. A lot of our applicants ask whether they can work during the studies. The answer is yes, you can. 
but working cannot interfere your studies. You still need to complete the required, have the required credit points. But after you graduate, you can stay here in Estonia for six months to look for a job. Uh, you can uh, get some career counselling from our Career and Counselling Centre here at the University. If you would like to know more about working here in Estonia, you can go and visit the workinestonia.com website. Few words about our summer and winter school as well. Tallinn Summer School is in July, uh, winter school in January. The, during your summer or winter school, you can take part of short courses that last for a week, two weeks or three weeks. Actually, the registration for Tallinn Summer School is still open. So when you go to summerschool.tlu.ee, you can choose a course that you like and register yourself and come to Tallinn in July. Uh, usually 85% of the participants are from foreign countries. And additional to different courses, we also offer a cultural program here. So the participants can go to the museums, field trips outside of Tallinn. If you're interested in uh, short courses, uh, you please go to summerschool.tlu.ee or winterschool.tlu.ee. Few words about our campus as well. We are located right in the heart of Tallinn. Uh, here you can see the photos of our uh, buildings. All our buildings have Latin names that represent certain values to the university. At the moment we are located in Nova building. The newest addition to the university actually was Astra building that you see here as well. If you would already uh, would like to go and have a look around our campus, you can do that virtually. If you go to virtualtour.tlu.e, you can go and have a look. In case you have any questions regarding life in Estonia, in Tallinn, about studies at Tallinn University, feel free to turn to our ambassadors. When you go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors, you will see that uh, our international programs have a contact person there, a student, st a student studying at the program. You can see their email there and feel free to contact them. They are more than happy to answer to your questions. Last but not least, I suggest you to follow us in social media to keep up with our latest doings. In Facebook, you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. Meanwhile, in case you have any questions regarding the admission, feel free to turn to our admission specialists who are more than happy to help you. You can write to them at admissions at tlu.ee. Thank you from my side and hopefully see you already in September.